Justice, um, my lords, my ladies. In the remaining few minutes, permit me to take you through um, our report from the scrutiny exercise carried out at Forotha. And my lord, um, I'd like to very quickly just highlight uh, sequentially in the order in which the ruling was made. Did we get your name for record purposes? Oh, my apologies once again. Jackson Awele is my name, uh, my lady. My lady, in the order in which the ruling uh, was given, order number five uh, granted the applicants inspection, scrutiny and recount in respect of 45 polling stations. There were about 16 polling centers and within them we had 45 polling stations. Now in conducting the exercise, our focus was on qualitative aspects of the results and the electoral materials that were deposited in the ballot boxes. And one of the things, if I may start from where Mr. Mahat left from, that we were looking out for were the QR codes of the Kim, Kim's kit in tamper-proof envelopes and Kim's validation form 44 in tamper-proof envelopes. My learned friend, Mr. Mahat, has urged you to go through the scrutiny report and that in that report you will find uh, information and ev evidence about the QR codes of all the Kim's kits and in respect of the ballot boxes that were submitted to you. We hate to submit to you, my lords and my ladies, that in your report you will only find one, one QR code and one Kim's validation form 44 that was submitted or that was found in the ballot boxes that were submitted for scrutiny out of the 45 polling stations that we scrutinized. Of all the other uh, ballot boxes, the QR code of Kim's kits in tamper-proof envelopes and the Kim's validation forms uh, from 44 in tamper-proof envelopes were missing. The question is, where were they? In light of Ms. Soweto's uh, submissions, your guess is as good as mine. We also looked for the pasted carbon copy of Form 34A in the ballot box, and in all the forms, or rather the ballot boxes, um, we didn't, or rather the form, the book two of two of Form 34A was only found in 27 out of, were not found in 27 out of 45 polling stations. And in my, in, in, as a matter of fact, um, uh, um, my lords and my ladies, if, if I had time, I would go through the list. But this represents 50% of the ballot boxes that were submitted to us for, for scrutiny, missing book two of two of Form 34A. Now, in Vita Primary School, the other um, electoral material that we looked for was the Form 32A that evidenced voting by uh, using the manual register. In Vita Primary School, Station 7 of 7, 232 people we noted voted using the manual register, um, and no Form 32A was submitted in respect of those votes. In Vita Primary Polling Station 1 of 7, 260 people voted using the manual register, no Form 32A was availed to verify that indeed the authorizations that the IEBC stated should be given before voting by manual register were indeed uh, given. Finally, my lords and my ladies, um, in respect of um, the Form 34A, the carbon copy of the result that went out, my time has run out, my lord. If I may just make that point in one minute. With your kind permission. We noted that in that in the twenty seven polling stations, um, in the twenty seven polling stations that we noted did not have book two of two of form thirty four A, they also did not return the carbon copy of the actual results emanating from those polling stations um, in the ballot box. In other words, the 
uh, results or the ballot papers in those ballot boxes could not be verified with the carbon copy of the original Form 34A that was used to declare the results in respect of those polling stations in these presidential elections. Um, for those um, and all the submissions made by uh, my learned seniors and uh, Mr. Murgo, my Lord, I thank you for your time and pray that the petition be allowed to spread.